Hey everyone, no Look out for me, Wolf Tunnel here, internet's busiest YouTube editor. <sighs> yeah, that's probably a good excuse to why I've uploaded twice in the last six months. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Holidays. It's not good. Holidays. 2016. A horror anthology movie, a collection of nine short films by nine different filmmakers, and nine times the reason. I don't want to watch this film. Ooh, where do I start? So there's eight different holidays in this film. We got Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, of course, uh, Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, but I think I missed this one. New Year's Eve, and of course, last but not least, is Halloween. And I thought because it's October and uh, <sighs> fair use exists. For the occasion, we're going to be watching the Halloween segment. And also the Valentine's Day one, because it's really bad and I just want to watch it again and laugh. Uh, but today we're going to do something a little bit different to what we usually do here on the uh, Record Scratch channel, and we're going to actually be reacting to, to the movie we're reviewing live. Yeah, th this, this not music. Okay. Um, this album? It's a strong 10. Love is worry, love is worry. And me and my girlfriend actually watched the first couple of, of uh, short films in this anthology collection about a year ago, and uh, it's not good. However, the one we didn't watch was the Halloween movie, and that one is directed by the one and only Kevin Smith. That's right. Oh, West Philadelphia, born and raised. No, that's Will Smith. I don't know. Yeah, you know, he, he was in, he was in, he was a Morat. He had, had Su Suzanne from Weezer. That Suzanne from Weezer. <laughs> so by the looks of it, this anthology is coming to us uh, courtesy of Distant Corners Entertainment. Not that best release of 2016. XYZ Films as well have been have collaborated on on this 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 2016. Uh, I want to say effort. Was there much effort that went into this film? And not a lot of uh, uh, big names I, I, I uh, recognize. They got so many people working on this, and it, they're, just, they're just trying to put Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. Holidays. And my controller battery is low. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Does the coach not have a name? So we're five seconds in, and so far we know that the protagonist has such a huge crush on her coach. Except she refers to him as coach. And I don't know if that's just some sort of a, a sub-dom relationship or student coach. It's pretty fucked up. So Max's classmates, who ironically kind of look a lot weirder than she does, call her Maxi Pad and insult your hair a, a good nine more times in this 10 minute short film and then continue to laugh at her climbing up a ladder for some reason uh, that she hasn't actually climbed up yet, but the coach still looks up at the top of the board as if she has. Knock it off, Heidi. Or maybe he's trying to contain himself and smack this little shit. Max. Maxi pad. Maxi pad. Who would win? Audio overdubbing and post, or a bad take that makes clapping sound like someone fumbling a microphone? Maxi pad. Maxi. Maxi pad. Maxi. Dude, you're like you're running this class. You could you could just hey hey shut shut the fuck up. Shut. I see teachers having having these kids just being little shits in their lessons. They're just going. <sighs> also, like how they just got like the eight most annoying looking extras to just all go. <laughs> Where's the sun come from? It's they're inside. Where is this ray of sunlight come from? <laughs> Yo, what the? <laughs> how does she? How does she? Does she get up there so quick? <laughs> Bro, they got they got Kevin Smith on this film. How did they not have the budget to, to hire actors <laughs> who could point and laugh w without it feeling like I'm watching a GCSE drama? <laughs> You're like 40 years old, you, you don't have to put up with this bullshit, man. He like walks away as if he's like being bullied on the playground. Oh, Valentine's, Valentine's is tonight. Why, why would we go Friday? Oh, Valentine's, okay, big context, it's Valentine's Day. No, you know, the, the talent show. Oh, no, the, uh, the talent show. No, the talent show that the kids organized for my operation. Oh, he needs an operation, okay. Mr. Walkwell was trying to kiss your little wet wit. Oh my god, I want to punch her. I want to punch her so much. Okay, that's the only convincing thing about this. That was a strange edit. You really think he'd go for you? 
over me. He's, he's also not a pedophile. I don't think actually. Let's let's find out. No, no, no. You know what? That's great. Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think that was genuine. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> oh, his shit. Part on that. Um, regret it. I know that each filmmaker probably only has like 10 minutes to, to make their point and make their story but it's it's just funny how he suddenly has this phone call and we find out in the space of 30 seconds it's Valentine's Day and, and his partner wants to go out on Friday instead but he can't do Friday because there's a fundraiser and then suddenly they find out that the girl who's an asshole is going to be doing this twerking routine because she likes this guy, this coach and, and but the, the protagonist likes this coach but at the same time we find out they're doing this fundraiser because he needs a heart transplant and then suddenly we see this letter where it says we regret to inform you that you ain't got a heart son and it's just it's good it's good stuff it's good filmmaking let's carry on are you gonna perform something <laughs> so then even more important backstory gets brought up in a random situation conveniently at the same time as the other backstory when this bitch comes up to her and asks if she's gonna use the same box cutter knife that her dad killed himself with to let's just say make a scene on stage and wait for the donations to pour in Oh, she's such an asshole. Okay, maybe the acting isn't as bad as I thought. Same toy your dear, dead daddy killed himself with. I gotta meet Rick. Just more information that would never usually be told in a 60 second time frame. And then the bully's acting all tough until she looks up and then suddenly she's like... <laughs> At least have some some continuity in, in the character here. I, I I know I've seen this this one before, but it was it was so mediocre that I just can't even remember what happens. But you can already tell from the little bits of information they've given us in the first five minutes that like she's gonna try and do something to protect the coach who needs a heart transplant from this bully who's being mean to her and and I let's just play. You're not gonna go take a shower. No, I'll take one at home. I heard this one has rats in it. <laughs> you were terrified of her a second ago. This is there's no continuity in the characters. Ah. Tota. I plus the rains down and out. To to tax oh Maxi. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is tax team? <laughs> I mean like the camera works pretty good. Like, they obviously had a good enough budget to, to get all this stuff, but, uh, but not a good enough budget to get good extras. I like can't maxi pad was the best that they could come out with. Like, as if they don't all use them as well. You can imagine, like, a 12-year-old boy making that joke, but the fact that they're all in the same boat here. You're all in the same boat here. Yeah, I also think that's kind of illegal. Because, <laughs> like, 35-year-old like, guy giving, like, a 14-year-old girl a Valentine's letter. I choo-choo choose you. Where did that come from? Here we go. You hear about this shit in the news. <laughs> hey, Georgie. You want to play? You're acting really weird today. Even for you. Yeah, it's probably because you, like, went over to her and started fucking talking about her dad who committed suicide. This girl's about to find out if you, you, you talk shit. Well, I'm gonna cut through the woods. You get smacked. See you tomorrow. Yeah, you can't suddenly try and be nice. You chucked her into a pool as she almost drowned. Oh, don't go through the woods. If she's tailing you, man. You don't even live this way. <laughs> I, I, that did not come out of her mouth then. That, that, I know they, they do voice work in the studio after, but I've got to see that again. You don't even live this way. <laughs> Bro, why would you go home and flip? <laughs> Who walks through woods in flip flops no, anyway? <laughs> oh fuck! It's the break from the pool. I appreciate that. That's actually a good, good, good callback to about thirty seconds ago when this film started. The pieces. Uh, coming together. Oh, real talk for a second. She threw that hop pretty far. I mean, I know she's an athlete, but if, if they haven't got a javelin team already, I think I know where to start. Oh, I actually know she's about to kill it. Never mind. I s scratched that. Gonna be late. Well, I thought I had until Friday. Why would you think that? Valentine's Day is tonight. <laughs> I'm just as confused as you are, man. Yeah. 
Because that one I, I did see before quite a long time ago. The acting from, from the, the main three characters isn't too bad. And like the cinematography and stuff is okay, I guess. I'm not good at reviewing films. I'm not. I watch awful stuff. I watch Adam Sandler films. Jesus. Uh, the extras is not, not really very good. Uh, the, the fact that she got pushed off a diving board that she was going to jump off anyway and, and suddenly she, she like drowns. I don't know how that works because surely she was going to be able to swim. Sure, she was taken by surprise, but you'd think she'd just be like, ah, ah, and then just swim up. It was cliche as hell and I know they can only do so much in like 10 minutes, but it's just kind of funny how they're like, oh, I need a heart. And she's like, don't worry, I love you. And there's this bitch I hate, so I'll just take her heart instead. Oh, I need a heart and it's Valentine's Day and, and hearts represent love for some reason. I like how the whole dispute of his wife wanting to go out on Friday instead of Valentine's Day uh, was literally just put in there so you could pick up the piece of paper like, but the talent show because I need to raise money for my heart transplant? And then just so it doesn't seem like a pointless bit of information, when she goes around to his house, the wife's like, oh, I thought we were going out on Friday, not on Valentine's Day, the day that makes sense to be going out. Who cares, it's just a commercial holiday anyway. Uh, holidays, Valentine's Day, for me, it's gonna get a strong three to life four. Transition. Oh, we're actually watching another one, so let's just transition back. Okay, that's cool. Let's let's go. Let's carry on. Wait, what the fuck? Is that the guy from from the the that food? What are they call it? It's like the food thing. They just make loads of fucking orders and more bacon strips and more bacon strips. Here we go. An hour and eighteen minutes into the movie. That's where Kevin Smith's short film comes in because they put it at the start. Everybody would probably stop watching. I like Kevin Smith. I'm hoping this is gonna be good I started this this whole video thinking this was gonna be a terrible experience And I found out Kevin Smith was doing a film and I'm excited now I Seth Green Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Please. It's Christmas Eve. I'm out of time Yeah, bro. This is meant to be a Halloween one. Is this not a Halloween one? I think they put the title of the film at the end of it So I oh, oh shit. So now we're not gonna be watching Seth Green. It is the guy's epic meal time. Of course, Kevin Smith got the fucking guy from Epic Meal Time to do this. I'm seeing a lot of horror, but uh, it's gonna be like editing people are in Minecraft again. Fuck me. How many times I bust over my destroyed homes? Why? Because a creeper blew it up, and I would in turn imagine a creeper blowing me like that. Nice. Yeah, if you're wondering, editing PewDiePie reading a fanfic about fucking a creeper is definitely one of my career. Low points. Oh my god. Yeah, so come to LA. No, it's not porn. It's webcam. It's honestly exactly like FaceTime. <laughs> then why do you have to move to LA to do it? No, 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 no. It's nothing like porno. It's nothing like porno at all. It's it's on your webcam. It's pretty much FaceTime. Yeah, you obviously haven't described it well enough in the advert if you happen to explain it to everybody. I mean, what does this guy know? All he does is put bacon on shit. Bacon, 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 bacon. 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 Okay, so obviously the budget for this film was higher than the budget for whatever the hell they're watching, and that's a good sign at least. Like, what the fuck are these bitches cooking, man? <laughs> they're not cooking. That's a cauldron. I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> She's not a fucking asshole. He was writing all the shit that he wanted to do to me, and then when he signed up, he called me a whore. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time he's like, you stupid fucking slut, I'm gonna f*** over your face, and like, he calls her a whore and she's like, ah, ah. Fuck swerves, support sex workers, but this shit, that's just stupidly unrealistic. You got his credit card number, right? So fuck this asshole, let's go shopping. Bro, I don't think you're allowed to do that, I, I feel like that's probably illegal. Yeah, okay, he called you a whore, but I don't think you're allowed to steal money from his credit card. See, I just bought a hundred dollars worth of V-Bucks by accident. Don't fucking use my at all. Ian comes home with a three for one dollar candy and is upset to see the girls not working. The girls explain to him that it's Halloween night and everybody is out having fun except for them. But Ian doesn't care, he just wants his goddamn hot pockets, all right? I assume with bacon as well. More bacon. I want to eat my hot pockets. Can I have one of your hot pockets? I gave you your dinner. Hershey's, is what my grandmother used to say, is for ladies. I added this part. Discount stuff is for whores. <laughs> whores! Uh, I don't know what to say. They're acting as if he's holding them captive there, and he's bringing them back candy to eat. Uh, except the, the door was like unlocked, and they could probably just leave and, and get real food. 
I... What is wrong with this girl? I love YouTube acting. What is wrong with this girl? <sighs> so why don't you give us the night off so we can cheer Serena up and celebrate Halloween? Okay. Oh, no, wait, wait. I meant to say fuck no! <laughs> Oh, the writing. The writing is fantastic. Okay. Psych! That's the wrong number! After that sick roast, Ian goes through his version of the Dennis system, which has ABC, which means always be coming. I guess they were proud of that. And since it's such a slow night, why don't I put one of you sluts to work? We're not girls, Ian. We're women. I was a girl when I got here, but after working for you for eight fucking months, now I'm sad to say I'm a woman. I'm the oldest 18 year old woman I know. Ew. So after a big emotional rant, Kevin Smith's daughter, that's right, I found out that this actress is actually Kevin Smith's daughter. That's quite fun. Explains that she's not the only one who made a big mistake coming here. Do you know what three women in a room together used to be called? A coven. You got that? <laughs> witches. And the power of witches is always strongest in threes. You fuck. So they're working for this really abusive guy uh, who, who makes money on the side um, putting bacon on stuff on YouTube. He's an asshole who's exploiting young women, being very verbally abusive in this, maybe physically abusive, hence why they couldn't leave the house and things. And uh, the way they're fighting back is because it's Halloween, they watched a really bad cartoon of witches on Netflix. Power of three, baby. That's also the, the rating I'm giving this short film so far. Okay, well, which, which, is gonna ride this broomstick. <laughs> Ew. This one. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I don't want it. Well, you're gonna. Ew. I don't think that's the type of plug you meant to put up his ass. What the Ew, what fuck? have they done? Ah! Oh, I think we actually have. I like how the guy they got off YouTube can act better than everyone in the previous film. Ew! This is a pretty cursed shit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Great. You, you know, I was talking about how they couldn't spend that guy's money on the credit card because it was illegal. Well, now they just glued the guy's asshole shut, so he's. I guess that's just an afterthought. Does that work? Does it work like that? Can you put a car battery onto a vibrator in it? It's inside of him as well. I don't understand which part of him it, it's vibrating. <laughs> The fuck do you want? What? What the fuck? You made your point. Take your fucking pictures. I, I, I don't think that's what they wanted to see. <laughs> Curse the emoji. I don't have a pussy. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Ah oh, no. Mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Smith has, has come a long way since Dogma. Oh, it's escalated a little bit. Oh, don't have any sound effects. Don't have any sound effects. Don't have any sound effects, please. No. Oh, the imagery. What happens if we turn the shit up to ten? That. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Fuck off. I was on board, like it was dark and sinister, and the acting wasn't too bad, and I was like, okay, this is this has some potential. And the imagery of the sandwich opening, that that's kind of clever. I don't know if Kevin Smith has analyzed the knife going into that area before and seen how blood pops out, but that's probably not how it happens. I'm also confused of how a vibrator could make someone's body explode. But uh hello Nancy, welcome. Uh you're joining us during a period of transition for the company transition unfortunately ian is no longer with the company due to uh cutbacks okay okay i think i've had enough holidays uh that was a lot better than the valentine's day one and i'm not just saying that because i know a bigger director did it it was just genuinely a little bit less stupid is it bad that i think the best acting from that short film was uh, whoever was typing on the laptop <laughs> that was the sort of thing i'd expect to see more so on youtube from like one of these big channels that have a few million subs so they can have a little bit more budget to spend on stuff like this not a film on netflix but then again last christmas we watched the, the krampus film and th that made it on netflix and then on amazon and i'll leave a link
you can experience that. I, I feel like I probably could have done a better job than that. Kevin Smith's Halloween short film for holidays. It's going to get a decent to strong four. I don't think it could even justify having a light five. Um, I really liked the themes in it, and it was it was like a, a kind of clever story, but the acting wasn't very believable. And some of the lines were stupid. It wasn't as cliche as, as the Valentine's Day one, which I appreciated. And I think the plot twist was pretty good, but it did escalate uh, quite a lot, considering he was just being an asshole to them. And uh, I'm just wondering what that guy who, who called the, the one girl a whore is doing there. And now he's probably just, I don't know, playing, playing Overwatch or something and... This, this guy had a vibrator stuck up his ass. Woo! So I guess it's time to transition. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? Holiday is a little bit cliche, some bad acting here and there, but not the worst thing I've seen uh, with a small budget from, from small directors. But there's a lot of room for improvement. Holidays? Forever. Actually, no, I don't... Why does he say that? Why does he say forever? Like, if he doesn't like something, he still says forever as if... As if he's gonna support that thing for a while. He's just... That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Is it just me? Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.